So once once we have completed this part, now we are moving towards the rights of proxy and the limitations of the proxy. Let's discuss about the limitation of the proxy. What do you mean by limitations? Simple thing. What proxy is not allowed to do in the meeting? Okay. So if you ask me about the limitation of the proxy, I have this many. Please write down here. Okay. The first one is he shall not be counted in the quorum if he is not a member. Did you already learn that? Come on, he will not be counted in quorum. Okay. He shall not be counted as being part of quorum. But let me tell you, this rule has the exception, it will happen only in the case when he is non-member. But if he is the member then? Why? If he is a member then why? You understand every person has multiple capacities and the personalities within itself. You look at me. I have multiple personalities. I am chartered accountant, I am husband, I am father, I am teacher. And do you know what? My attitude and my approach to community to community will be different. The way I am reacting in front of income tax officer, the same way I cannot react against you. The way I am in, in classroom, the same way I cannot remain with my father. What happens if I tell to my father, I see you. Papa is a thappad. He will say, you to see you, I see you. Make sense, right? कहाँ के एटीट्यूड रखने हो ध्यान में आपको करना। Why am I saying like this? Once a member is appointed as proxy, he has two capacities. One is as a member, other is what? So I can say the two souls in one body. Yes, two capacities and so let me tell you why you are saying that whether that person will be counted as the part of quorum or not. So answer is yes. The person who is a member as well as the proxy. Kya usko hum quorum ka part maanenge? Absolutely as is the part of quorum but only to the extent of his member's capacity. In whose capacity he is counted? Member's capacity. That capacity would be ignored. And in fact you won't believe. But court of this country has allowed that in, in one Body, if you have the two personalities, one is as a proxy, the other is a member. As being individual member, I have 5000 shares. But I am the holding the proxy ship of my friends 5000 also. So total 10,000. Individual capacity first 5000, friends capacity, proxy capacity, other 5000. Court has said that for both these 5000 you can vote differently. No matter you are just one person. So it, it doesn't make that you have to vote all the 10,000 in, in one opinion. It is not like this. You can have the different, different opinions. No issue. You can. You can do this. So please understand this game of capacity. And that that's what we learned in, in a representative versus quorum also. If one person is holding the representations of the five different companies, in one body, five members are present and that's why while counting it, we will not consider only one person, but we will consider five members. Did we learn that? Did we learn that? So please don't make mistakes there. Okay? So first is he shall not be counted as being part of quorum. Second limitation already you know guys, he is not allowed to vote in show of hands. Okay? So that is another. Write down. He shall not not vote in show of hands. He shall not vote in show of hands. And the last one, what is very interesting, he will not speak in between meeting. He shall not 
speak in between meeting i know it's very funny kyun usko washroom jana aap bolne ko to mana kar rahe ho bechara kya karega abhi kanun to kanun hai bhai follow karna padega and come on guys this are not homemade laws let me show you here it is written exactly like this that a proxy shall not have the right to speak at such meeting to bechara bolega nahi to exactly ab yahan pe dhyan rakhna we have one chapter called interpretation of statutes i think you are interested to know why what is in that chapter so they have this chapter is not made for uh, the students of the law or other i would say even in fact even for the advocates this chapter kya hai na us chapter ka interpretation of the law it is made for the judges jo judge banna chahte unko ye training mein padhaya jata hai as being a judge how will you interpret the law in the situation so there are some instructions are given by senior lawyers senior advocates senior judges of the courts so how a judge should react so if there is one sentence is written in the law go for the literal interpretation literal bole to whatever meaning comes first of all translate that into the exact meaning english meaning try to interpret now there are two two options either it makes the sense it doesn't make the sense apply your common sense in that if it makes the sense apply it for example if you make a fraud under section 420 of the indian penal code maximum punishment of the 7 years will be applied so that is all now you cannot go for beyond 7 it is given by 7 is very easy meaning easy translation interpret accordingly but what if some provisions what are written in the law doesn't make sense to kya karoge bachcha the example is in front of you proxy cannot speak in between between does it make sense do you really think it is it is it is it makes sense he wants to go for food he wants to go for restroom and you're not allowing him to speak and if you speak it chairman says hey don't speak your proxy i will fire you from the meeting wo bechara kya karega so please try to understand here literal interpretation failed it doesn't make sense so here you have to apply to the second interpretation which is called the logical interpretation which means the reasonable interpretation let me tell you what should be the reasonable interpretation of this sentence we shall not speak in between meeting dekho likha hai kaun si section mein likha hai ek bar hum dekh lete hain bachcha section 105 sub section 1 proviso 1 udhar hi likha hua hai it means okay understand the logic behind this provision proxy who is not a member is outsider to the company it is always believed that anyone who is not a member of the company outsider he doesn't know the matters of the company and if he doesn't know the matters of the company should be allowed him to speak in between for example in your family there's a dispute voice is raised too much shouting is shouting ho raha and neighbors are coming to intervene and they are taking some sides and if they are taking the sides of <laughs> other party in your family aapke dil se kya aayega excuse me sir please it's none of your business stay away we say like that you don't speak please you don't speak because you are speaking is sparking the dispute don't do that you are adding the fuel in the dispute don't do that we we use na arbe tu mat re tera kaam nahi tu tu dur re yaar it's none of your business we use such language the same concept is used under section 105 are bhai you it is none of your business it is none of your business you are new to us you are just new to us just keep quiet so look when i say proxy shall not have right to speak in between meeting it simply means he cannot ask a question he cannot answer questions he cannot give any feedback he cannot share any opinion in short he cannot take participation in any discussion he cannot be part of any discussion it doesn't mean that if he wants to go to washroom he cannot ask anyone ye bilkul matlab uska nahi 
but i hope these three limitations are clear in everyone's mind yes i think you have to rectify your question can it demand the pole otherwise just in the last batch i was teaching aur jab ye baat aayi to bachcho ko ek hi doubt aaya tha sir wo gaya kyu udhar se khana khana ha dal bhat khake wapas aa jayega yahi hai kya uska let me tell you i have just explained you limitation and not the rights uske rights kya hai but am i clear to all of you two important rights what we should learn here kafi interesting rights hai kafi interesting rights hai okay Uh, but uh, till this everyone clear this part theek hai in the rights my dear students you please try to understand the i would say right number 1 which is starting from here please let me decorate it okay right number 1 is he can demand the poll who can demand the poll proxy proxy can demand the poll complying the provisions complying with section complying section 109 so you know what in this entire story the hero of the debate the hero of the story the main point of the story is section 109 demand of poll when you can when you can so if you are eligible according to section 109 you can definitely do this and eligibility of uh, the section 109 is common for everyone whether you are proxy or whether you are not a proxy wo sab ke liye same hai kya mere baat samajh gaye theek hai and second is once it is demanded he can vote over there but do you understand he can vote in polling proxy can vote in the voting the voting by poll as per section 109 got the point so please these two rights you have to understand according to section 109 and 9 ha parse batao hai kya doubt hai aapke sir proxy ko nahi kar sakta kar lo karo karo सब पॉसिबल है क्या करो अगर डिमांड की गई है तो निभाना पड़ेगा अगर डिमांड की गई है तो निभाना पड़ेगा यू कॉन्ट एस्केप यू कैन नॉट एस्केप इट इज स्टेचुटरी राइट इट इज गेटिंग डिलेड इट इज लेट मी टेल यू बच्चा delay is not the main object completing the general meeting is not the main object main object is general meeting should be completed according to the law wo main object hai to no doubt i was listening to one of the bjp leaders interviews he said one thing unhone ye kaha ki you had the plan for article 370 you had the plan for this three criminal law amendments till you have the plan for caa citizen amendment bill agricultural bills they introduced but because of that protest they had to took it back wo hua puri cheez hai
why you took this much time you could have taken this earlier now why you were slow in decision making so he answered well he said we are faster than the other governments but still we are slow we admit the reason is sometimes becoming a slow is the better option rather than facing the rage of the people who couldn't understand that why we are doing this yeah so har cheez ka ek samay hota hai time hota hai and according to that time you have to implement the steps do you agree with so just because of the things are getting delayed and companies getting disturbance that's fine but ultimately he is the shareholder section 109 allows him the power you don't have any option you cannot argue it is getting delayed so i will not allow you to enjoy your right to what is given under section 109 ye to galat hai na but limit hai limit hai so if what do you think if uh, any proxy holding just one share do you really think that law will allow him to demand it a uh, limit hai ye point aaya limit should be there and limit is that i think <laughs> i should explain you the 109 first 107 we have done it let's now talk about 109 before i proceed to 105 come to 109 look this is 109 demand for poor so if you read here look at what is written that uh, before passing the resolution by show of hands anyone can demand what anyone can demand what the poll under this section am i clear so original method is the show of hands but if somebody is demanding the polling it is the duty of the chairman to conduct the polling am i clear okay now first what they have written that who can apply but here the clause a subsection 1 clause a talks about that limit jo aapko jo jo limit chahiye thi na ab wo yahan pe batayi gayi hai they are saying that the persons or the shareholders having not less than what much <coughs> one tenth of the total voting power either individually or in aggregate aggregate stands for what if i have one one person you have one person I have ten people in my favor, so one one percent each aggregate comes to what one tenth that is also allowed. So at least one tenth of the total voting power strength of the shareholders demanding the polling, then and only then it becomes compulsory for the chairman to go for polling. Why? Otherwise, it is not allowed. Make sense? Not only that. Now just imagine, bachcha, one tenth of the total voting power. do you know guys what is the paid up share capital of reliance jio infocom it is 60000 crores face value 60000 crores apply 1/10th of that it is 60000 So guys you have to gather the majority of at least 6000 crores face value holders kab aap dhoond paoge make sense or not face value of 6000 crores kab leke aaoge bhai because in the market face value is 10 rupees premium goes to 500 700 so you might have bought the shares of 1 crore rupees but in the terms of face value it may be just a 10 lakhs because remaining 90 lakhs you have paid for what premium तो प्रीमियम को तो देखना ही नहीं है आपको इट द सीरियस प्रॉब्लम स्पेशली फॉर द लार्ज कंपनीज व्हेन द पीपल वांट टू डिमांड बाय पोल पोल की अरे भाई मेजोरिटी ढूंढते ढूंढते मर जाओगे आप सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड इज इट जो क्या एंड देर फॉर दे हैव गिवन माय दी स्टूडेंट्स दी अदर प्रोविजन और होल्डिंग शेयर एन एग्रीगेट और इंडिविजुअली ऑफ नॉट लेस देन so either you find 1/10th of the total voting power or you find in aggregate the people who are together holding just a 5 lakh rupees face value 
But this 5 lakh what is written over here, it is face value, not with premium. So tell me, which one is easier, 1 tenth or 5 lakhs? That depends. If the total share capital, if the total share capital of my company is just 1 lakh, then 1 tenth means only 10,000 rupees I have to find. Are bolo bhai. If the total share capital, paid up share capital of my company is just the 10 lakhs, then I have to get the support of only 1 lakh rupees. So over there 5 lakh doesn't make sense. But what if it is a large company, then this 5 lakhs will become Brahmastra for me. It will become a weapon for me to raise what? Demand. So actual answer goes like this. One tenth of the total voting power or the 5 lakhs, whichever is less would be applicable. Am I clear? Bhai, meri baat samaj wa hai? Just a second. Okay, it is there only. Yeah. I was just checking that whether this 5 lakh rupees is increased or not increased, but it is not increased. Just for the confirmation sake, I wanted to. So guys, have you understood why Paras? What is the limit? So even if you are a proxy, but it's not easy until you get some unity. At least for the 5 lakh rupees face value, people. Have you understood this individually or aggregate? Aggregate stands for you can get the help of others also together. Kya bhai baat pe? Who can demand the poll? And once the poll is demanded, proxy is allowed to vote on behalf of his members to the extent of the shares what is holding. Face value kitna hai? Kitna hai? 7 lakhs you can go. You can alone demand it. Then that majority of one tenth is not required. Whichever is less. That's what I am saying. Whichever is. But I am also trying to explain the philosophy behind the emergence of the uh, provision. Why 5 lakhs was added? Why not stick to only one tenth? Otherwise, Every time my dear student, it would be unfair treatment. Suppose you have just a 2% of the total share capital. But still, you will be allowed to give only, only one vote. Are you a 40% investment in the company? 40% or 9% investment in the company. 9%. I am holding around 900 crore rupees share. But then, voting time will be given to and that is why along with the one tenth, one more provision is also there, five lakhs. It is good for, I would say, those who do not hold a substantial amount of the share capital. Am I clear? Utna to bane ga Huh? Bhai, aap ye kyu samaj rahe ho ki this right is available to only proxy. I am talking about other shareholder also, na? तो एक ही मिलेगा चाहे उसके पास 9% शेयर होल्डिंग हो तो तो अनफेयर हुआ इसलिए उसके लिए 5 लाख की लिमिट भी फायदेमंद है तुम समझ रहे हो ही कैन प्रेशराइज द बोर्ड भाई गलत है ऑलराइट सो गुड आई थिंक अलोंग विद 105 वी हैव लर्नड 109 आल्सो क्लियर ओके सो माय पॉइंट वाज राइट्स ऑफ द प्रॉक्सी सो प्रॉक्सी कैन डिमांड द पोल According to section 109, that means either one tenth of the total voting power he has to gather or 5 lakh rupees, whichever is less will be considered. And he can vote also. And this is how, guys, it can affect massively the corporate politics. And that is why all these board of directors who don't want the elections to lose, they generally try to avoid the proxies. Okay, more proxy and it is demanded, you are gone. In 109, I just want to add few more points. The time limit to complete uh, the polling method. Because I told you polling is not easy. You need to make a uh, lot of setups there. So law has provided once the poll is demanded, you have to complete it within what time? 48 hours. You have to complete entire process within 48 hours. But 
for these two purposes you have to begin the pulling immediately that's the word what they have used is the fourth wait if there's a demand to adjourn the meeting you can't wait for the 48 hours aapko kya karna hoga immediately you have to take the action but are you getting me what i'm saying immediately you have to conduct what immediately you have to conduct what poll and second is the demand to appoint the chairman agar chairman ki demand aayi hai theek hai then immediately you have to conduct i would say the the uh, show of hands so not show of hands i'm sorry polling and you have to go ahead with this so there are two important questions time limit is what 48 hours but for what circumstances it should be conducted forth with forth with transfer immediately without losing a single second so that one is nothing but what chairman ki appointment adjournment of meeting please write down theek hai wo likha to likh do as a note yeah look at uh subsection 3 is trying to say poll demanded for the adjournment of the meeting or appointment of chairman shall be taken what fourth with fourth with transfer immediately immediately aapko karna padega otherwise otherwise i am telling you for other matters it is how much come on bachcha within 48 hours you have to continue so this is what is exactly the words of the section 109 but ek bar usko complete kar lo then i will go to the remaining topics of ab kya bacha hai rights ho gaye limitation ye invitation baaki hai revocation baaki once i complete this your 105 is over